What's going on guys? Sorry for a very loud bug sounding video, I suppose. But over here we have the new Toro. So this is the Toro push mower, 22 inch deck, cast aluminum deck. This is the one that they sent me. 60 volt lithium ion. This is called the Super Recycler. It's got the fully charged seven and a half amp hour battery inside of it. This thing is really cool. I did a full video on the unboxing of it. You got your little key right here, which goes in. To start it, you're gonna pull back right here, press the button. But I am going to be cutting some pretty tall grass. So this area right here, the grass is pretty dang tall. Don't know if you can tell. Let me get kind of low here. Let me pull out a blade of grass here so you can see what we're talking about. So it's pretty tall, and it's tall all around here. All the way back here, this whole section, all the way over here, really tall right here. And we're gonna see how well this thing performs, but also if we can complete cutting this area with one battery charge. It says that uh, it can go up to like 53 or 55 minutes on one charge. I don't anticipate it'll take that long. There's some areas like back here that there's not much going on. But there's certainly a lot of tall grass here, back through here, and all of this area right here. We're gonna go ahead and hit it and see how it goes. So if you like relatively quiet electric lawnmower videos, you may like this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's very windy outside right now and you may be able to pick up some of that in the microphone. But what I am going to do is have the camera mounted on my chest. I'm gonna go ahead and mow. Again, there may be a lot of wind noise, but there's probably not gonna be much mower noise. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna start up front. Now I don't have the bagger set up right now. It's on here but the chute's closed up, so it's just gonna be set for essentially recycling mode, which is the ability for it to just essentially mulch everything that gets underneath it. I'm gonna set it on auto and not max because I believe it variably kind of picks up what, uh, what speed it should be operating at to cut most effectively, but let's see how it works. If I feel I need to put it in max, I'll do that. This is that uh, the walk around or that, that really cool kind of stride feature where you simply walk forward into this and, and you can see how it slides forward and that's that feature that allows you to use the motorized function of it so it essentially propels itself forward go ahead and pull back on the handle press the auto button there you go You know, the mulching feature on this thing has been working really, really well. Here's some really thick grass. You probably hear the blades going faster. You know, there's a lot to be said for not having to add gas or oil to a mower. about to get into some thick stuff again. You can definitely hear the blade speed increase to max mode. I'll come back around here and hit some of the stuff with the weed eater later. I 
guess it kind of looks for resistance on the blade for it to know when to kick into a max mode. Okay, so it actually did a pretty phenomenal job. Now, I'm not gonna kid you, 22 inch cutting deck is not a very wide deck. And it certainly takes a long time to do even a relatively small area, only because you're not cutting much of it at any given time. So, you know, typically for this, I would use a riding mower. It probably is a five minute job to knock this out. We just watered this. That's why I didn't mow this section. This is where we put sod down. But this whole area right here, it's actually a pretty large area, and uh, knocked it out relatively quick. I'd probably say it was about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes uh, roughly to do the whole thing. Maybe a little less than that, actually. But um, it worked well. It didn't struggle at all. You could definitely tell when it was switching from auto to max mode. Uh, you could hear the blades increase in speed, and uh, it, it cut through everything no problem. I love the fact that it didn't put grass clippings everywhere. It really did a great job mulching everything up. And I think that's what the super recycler feature is all about. Um, again, I did not use the bagger. I simply let it do its recycling thing. I think everyone knows how a bagger works. And yeah, I was able to knock this out relatively quickly. If you're a homeowner or you are trying to do what we're gonna use this for, which is really knocking out the areas that aren't practical to run a zero turn simply because of the overhang or the height or where you have to weave in and out of smaller areas, um, this is gonna come in really handy. From a battery perspective, let's check the charge. So this is full. We're down to two bars on it. Uh, actually, you know what? This is not completely full. This is actually the same battery that was in it when it was fully charged uh, when I first did the initial review on it. And this is the first time we've ran it since then, but I probably ran it for about 10 minutes then. So uh, yeah, I probably would have been able to easily finish all of this probably some more back there and even part of this front area right here. But again, the zero turns much more effective at the larger areas and this just comes in handy when you need to get into tight spots and, and you don't wanna deal with possibly hitting your, your uh, rollover protection or just not being able to fit somewhere. So very, very happy with the performance, very quiet. That's probably the single biggest takeaway. This thing is super, super quiet. All you essentially hear are the blades spinning and then when you're cutting grass or going over twigs or something like that. Anyways, guys, again, super big shout out to the folks over at Toro for surprising me with this. Um, I didn't get any type of a payment in exchange for a review. They just shipped this to me and uh, I put it to you. So hopefully this has been an informative video for you, especially those of you who are on the fence about switching from gas to electric. When it comes to something like this, it's still pretty practical. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.